Hey everybody, so in the past couple of weeks at Bytesight, we've been showing ways, uh, the steps you need to take if you're looking to create your very own interview testimonial video. We looked at how to shoot effective and quality interviews, how to shoot great B-roll, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to put it all together in post. So if you're looking to edit together all that stuff and make your own interview testimonial video, we're gonna be looking at five important tips to consider when editing your own interview. Tip number one is to start off by organizing the answers in the interview. So the reason it's really important to organize your answers is because it gives you a big picture view of all the content that you captured in that interview. It allows you to put it together in such a way that you're getting the best possible content from that interview and you're getting the best edit that you can possibly get. Everybody has their own way of going about organizing. We're gonna be looking at some footage from the Bite Sight Our Story mini documentary. You can check that out on our YouTube YouTube channel. So what I did was I actually went through and created a Word doc of notes summarizing each answer that uh, Casey gave in his interviews. And so this is all summarized and organized into bullet points in a Word doc. So not only does going through this note taking process really get it all in your own head, you can just go back to your answers and it's generally a lot more easy to find a keyword that you might be looking for in the interview. You can also, a lot of editing programs, we're using Final Cut Pro here, pretty much all editing applications are gonna have organizational tools in the actual editing app that you can use. So Final Cut Pro has keywording and you can select sections of clips and favorite them, stuff like that. But generally you just wanna have this concept of having all your footage organized before you actually start the edit. Tip number two is start with a rough edit. What that means is that when you go to edit the interview together, you're gonna to have the interview and likely you're gonna have shot some B-roll too. You're gonna to have music. You're maybe gonna have graphics in the video as well. But again, you really wanna have some patience here and focus on only editing together the interview so that it plays back in a clear, concise, and logical way. So you really want the interview to drive the rest of the video. If we look at cut one from our story, you can see that it is 19 minutes long, but all we have going on here is the actual interview and that's it. And if we skip ahead to maybe cut five, we probably have added in some B-roll at that point. And there we go, all this B-roll and all this motion graphics have been added on top of the main interview after we made sure that main interview flowed nicely and was being communicated well. Tip number three is tighten up the edit. Tightening up the edit means that you're not gonna wanna have any long pauses either before or after somebody starts speaking, unless it's motivated for the edit. But most of the time, you're not gonna wanna have those pauses in the video. It's just gonna look weird visually and it's gonna sound weird as well. So let's take a look at what that actually means. I'll just play this back for a moment so you can see what I mean. What Bytesight has to do, the responsibilities that we have, where we're going, my responsibility, and all that. You know, there's a lot of things that I create and it's just like, whatever. So that didn't sound too good. Let's play that again. Where we're going, my responsibility and all that. You know, there's a lot of things. So as you can see, the video kind of cuts and then there's a pause and then Casey starts talking. If we get rid of that pause, it's going to be much more snappy and flow together a lot better. So let's do that. Where we're going my responsibility and all that. You know, there's a lot of things that I create and it's just like, whatever. So tightening up the interview is really about not leaving any obvious editing mistakes in the video. Tip number four is clean up the edit. So cleaning up the edit is very similar to tightening up the edit, but it has less to do with removing pauses and it's more about removing ums or word fumbles. And it's all with the goal of making your interview subject look the best that they possibly can. So let's take a look at some things that we can maybe remove in this edit. I am doing what I love to do and you know I'm I, I'm very happy with okay so there's a couple things there that we could take out to make it uh, flow a bit better so let's take a look at that you know I'm I love to do and I I'm and I'm very happy with the work that I get to do Okay, so that sounds a lot better. There is a bit of a word fumble there that is now gone. Let's play that one more time. I'm doing what I love to do, and I'm very happy with the work that I get to do. 
Okay, awesome, sounds a lot better. So last tip, tip number five is add in B-roll. So similar to what we talked about in our previous video about how to shoot great B-roll, you wanna include B-roll in your edit. Number one, to add excitement to make the video more appealing. And B-roll can also help to cover up edits. So let's put that into action and take a quick look at how you might add B-roll to your edit. It has to do the responsibilities that we have, where we're going, my responsibility, and all that. You know, there's a lot of things that I create. Now that B-roll edit that we just saw there didn't actually work very well because it cuts back to the interview just before another cut um, to another question in the interview. So I'll play that again and hopefully you can see what I mean here. Responsibility and all that. You know, there's a lot of things. So basically all we want to do there is extend the B-roll cut to match the cut in the interview. my responsibility and all that. You know, there's a lot of things that I create. Now when it cuts back to Casey, it's the beginning of a new answer and you're not getting two cuts happening um, right after each other. Okay, so that covers it. Five important tips to consider when you're editing together an interview video. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like, and we'll see you in the next video.